Quotes from the world. Marcus Tullius Cicero. Quotes. Laws should be interpreted in a liberal sense, so that their intention may be preserved. Frivolity is inborn. Conceit acquired by education. Cannot people realize how large an income is thrift? To know the laws is not to memorize their letter, but to grasp their full force and meaning. No one has the right to be sorry for himself, for a misfortune that strikes everyone. All pain is either a severe or slight. If slight, it is easily endured, if severe, it will without doubt be brief. In doubtful cases, the more liberal interpretation must always be preferred. To some extent, I liken slavery to death. In everything, satiety closely follows the greatest pleasures. What one has, one ought to use, and whatever he does he should do with all his might. Liberty consists in the power of doing that which is permitted by the law. Our character is not so much the product of race and heredity as of those circumstances by which nature forms our habits, by which we are nurtured and live. Virtue is a habit of the mind, consistent with nature and moderation and reason. Great is our admiration of the orator who speaks with fluency and discretion. True glory takes root, and even spreads, all false pretenses, like flowers, fall to the ground, nor can any counterfeit last long. The pursuit, even of the best things, ought to be calm and tranquil. A tear dries quickly when it is shed for troubles of others. When you are aspiring to the highest place, it is honorable to reach the second or even the third rank. So near is falsehood to truth, that a wise man would do well not to trust himself on the narrow edge. That last day does not bring extinction to us, but change of place. Of all nature's gifts to the human race, what is sweeter to a man than his children? I add this, that rational ability without education has often raised man to glory and virtue, than education without natural ability. It shows nobility to be willing to increase your debt to a man to whom you already owe much. For how many things, which for our own sake we should never do, do we perform for the sake of our friends? There are more men ennobled by study than by nature. In honorable dealing you should consider what you intended, not what you said or thought. Hatreds not vowed and concealed are to be feared more than those openly declared. For a tear is quickly dried, especially when shed for the misfortunes of others. Knowledge which is divorced from justice, may be called cunning rather than wisdom. Those wars are unjust which are undertaken without provocation. For only a war waged for revenge or defense can be just. The magistrates are the ministers for the laws, the judges their interpreters. The rest of us are servants of the law, that we all may be free. One who sees the super soul accompanying the individual soul in all bodies, and who understands that neither the soul nor the super soul is ever destroyed, actually sees. Every man's reputation proceeds from those of his own household. I never admire another's fortune so much, that I became dissatisfied with my own. Nothing stands out so conspicuously, or remains so firmly fixed in the memory, as something which you have blundered. What nobler employment, or more valuable to the state, than that of the man who instructs the rising generation? No poet or order has ever existed who believed there was any better than himself. Justice consists in doing no injury to men. Decency in giving them no offense. Though silence is not necessarily an admission, 
It is not a denial. Either. Nothing is more unreliable than the populace. Nothing more obscure than human intentions. Nothing more deceptive than the whole electoral system.